you is the third episode of my Shibon Summer of Sum with John Frieda in which I'm creating four different summer hairstyles for four different summer occasions. Part of the Shearbond Summer of Sun series I've been testing out the Go Blonder range from John Frieda. I'm now on my fifth wash of the Shearbond Go Blonder shampoo and conditioner and so far I've actually really noticed my hair getting a lot lighter. I feel like it's finally made a noticeable difference and a lot of people have been commenting this week on how much lighter my hair looks because I feel like I haven't suffered any damage because I've been using them in conjunction with this which is the Sheer Blonde Brightening Oil Elixir which I absolutely love. I think it's so good. It makes my hair look really shiny and really soft. Going on holiday, I'd really recommend taking your hair oil and putting it in your beach bag because you can just add a few pumps if you come out the sea or the combination of the sun and the sea can really dry out your hair so it's always good to take something that's going to put the shine and lustre back in your hair. I think this is amazing. My hair is so shiny at the moment and I just love it. This week's theme is holiday hair and I've created this sort of 50s retro holiday look. I wanted to do something different from the typical beachy waves type thing. It's a bit of a throwback retro 50s kind of old Hollywood glamour type hairstyle. But I think the summer it's really nice to have your hair off your face but not everyone kind of wants to just do the top knot or the ponytail. It's, it's just a nice twist on holiday hair and it's the kind of thing you could wear in the evening or in the day. This hairstyle's a little bit trickier than the other hairstyles I've done in this series so far but promise you it's worth the extra effort. So let's get started. I'm going to be washing my hair with a Sheer Blonde Go Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner and then adding a generous amount of the Sheer Blonde Brightening Oil Elixir. First you need to pick a parting. I quite like the side parting for this look because I feel like it adds a little bit of a retro touch. It's up to you how you style this next bit. You can leave your fringe out or in depending on the look you want. For this look you'll need a headband. Pop the headband around your neck and pull upwards in position. As we're going for a big volume hairstyle, we need to try and build as much volume as we can and give the hair a strong base. Working front to back, back comb all over and build as much volume as you can get into your hair. I always think with back combing it's better to do too much than it falling flat after a few hours. Next you want to smooth the hair back to create a slight beehive effect and secure the remaining hair in the back. I'm doing a messy bun but you can pin it all down or even use a nice twisty thing to keep it casual. Fiddle around with the hair until you're happy. I like to use the end of the back combing brush as the pull bits out and just shape the hair. Finish the look with a good spritz of hairspray. my third hairstyle for my Sheer Blonde Summer of Sun. As I said, I thought I would do something a little bit different from the usual beach waves. This hairstyle is just really pretty, classic and elegant and it's one of those hairstyles that just kind of never goes out of style. Let me know what you think and if you're going to be attempting this retro summer hairstyle. I'll be back next week with my final hairdo from the series. It's also my most requested hairstyle, which is a special occasion hairstyle, something that's suitable for weddings or for prom, so yeah. See you next week if you want to see that. I'm going to put my twist on something that I've seen a lot on red carpets recently and I'm super excited about it. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!